Hello fellow artists. This is Linda Riddle and it's a good time for art. This is a great time of year to use our creativity to show our affection for the people we love. When we make or buy a gift for a friend, we think about getting them something that's uniquely suited to their personality. I like to extend that thoughtfulness to the way I wrap a gift so that the recipient knows just how special I think they are. Many of the techniques that we've explored in my other videos can be used to make exquisite one-of-a-kind gift wrap. Here's one example and another. But before we get into that, let's take a look at how other artists and artisans have pushed the envelope in packaging and wrapping. In Japan, there is a tradition of wrapping even the most ordinary items in a way that is both utilitarian and beautiful. This egg holder, woven from rice straw, keeps the fragile eggs from breaking and makes them easy to carry. The rope wrapped around this package provides just the right amount of ventilation to preserve the dried fish inside. Most traditional Japanese packages are made of natural materials like wood, bamboo, clay, and straw. Nature is highly valued and respected in Japan. This beautiful book is full of amazing photos of Japanese packaging. You might want to check it out at your local library or bookstore. In Japan, wrapping a gift is a sort of sacred ritual. By taking the time to wrap a gift with care, the giver is showing love and consideration to the recipient. Before we start wrapping our own gifts, let's take a look at wrapping on a monumental scale. The artist Christo and his partner Jean-Claude created breathtaking art installations by wrapping gigantic swaths of the natural and man-made environment. This is part of a long stretch of the coastline of Australia, which they temporarily wrapped in 1969, and this is one of Christo's drawings of the concept. Jean-Claude became skilled at handling the complicated logistics of these projects, hiring lawyers and gaining legal permits for their installations. The process often took years. This is the Pont Neuf the oldest bridge in Paris. And here is the bridge wrapped in shimmering fabric. I was lucky enough to be in Paris to experience this wonderful work of art. Maybe you can find me in this photo. Christo and Jean-Claude went on to wrap natural and architectural monuments all over the world. Their gift to us was the opportunity to see and experience our world in a surprising new way. The simplest way to create unique gift wrap is to recycle art explorations you already have. Just in case some of these techniques are new to you, I'll provide links below to the videos in which I demonstrate them. Another option is to create a specific work of art for the gift you're wrapping. I'll do a quick demo of this technique in a few minutes. This is a temper painting by a two-year-old. Look how striking it is wrapped around a gift. These gifts were wrapped with watercolor spray paintings. To take it a step further, I stamped these spray paintings with large rubber stamps. 
These are color explorations with liquid watercolor. Tempera paint and paint scrapers were used on this paper. This watercolor resist technique is one of my favorite ways to personalize a gift. My sister has a fall birthday, so I wrapped her presents in a falling leaf design. Here is an anniversary gift for my favorite couple. These are some gifts from past Christmases. Let me show you how it's done. This beautiful book is a gift for my fabulous friend, Fiona. I'm going to recycle a grocery bag to use for the wrapping paper. Then I'm going to use white oil pastels to draw my design. And finally, paint over the whole thing with liquid watercolor. Before I start, I'm going to outline the book with pencil so I'll know exactly where to draw my design. Fiona loves unicorns, so I made this extra special wrapping for one of her gifts. There you are. And it's a wrap for the 2020 season of Good Time for Art. I'll be back in February with lots more fun art ideas. If you want to be sure you don't miss a single episode, be sure and subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the little bell icon. That way you'll be notified every single time I post a video. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. That's all for today, but remember, it's always a good time for art.